Okay, this video is going to explain the mutate and transmute function in the dplyr package. So just first load that package. So the mutate function, all it does is it adds or changes variables to an existing data frame or tibble. In the transmute function, it only keeps the variable that you create through the function and gets rid of everything else in the data frame. We'll reference emptied cars for these examples. <clears throat> so let's say if let's say if you want to create a new column and add it to this data frame which shows uh, horsepower divided by cylinders for whatever reason. So all you'd have to do is use mutate. So the first argument of mutate will just be the data frame that you're looking to mutate. In this case, it's empty cars. The second argument will just be the name of the column. Uh, you want to create, and this can be anything you want. So we'll call it cent of horsepower. And then you just say what that new column will equal. So in this case, we said horsepower divided by cylinders. So one thing you have to be careful of, um, if I just click enter right here, oh, I made a mistake here. So I just click equal right here, it's just gonna print out to the console, um, but you can see that nothing changed in empty cars, and this is a mistake I've seen people make a lot. So you have to make sure you save it either to empty cars again or to a new variable. So now if we view test, you'll see percent of horsepower is right here. The other way we can use mutate is just to change an existing column. So let's say if we just wanted to add one to everything in miles per gallon, uh, we could use mutate again. We'll use test also again. Again, the name of the data set. So now we just come up with the name. We'll just name it the same exact column that we're trying to modify, which is miles per gallon. And it equals one plus MPG. And you'll see everything is just plus one than it was previously. So when you add a column, it's always going to go to the end of the, the data frame. There's been talk online about people kind of wanting to add a feature that you could either put it in the front of the data frame or somewhere else in the middle. Um, and that feature doesn't exist right now within Mutate, but it may be added in the future. So right now, the only option really is to add the new column to the end of the data frame or to change um, an existing column somewhere in the data frame. So now Transmute works very similarly. But instead of adding it to a data frame, it's just going to take that specific variable and create a new data frame with that one variable by itself. So we'll use test again. Transmute. Again, the first argument is going to be the data frame you're looking to uh, transmute. The second argument is going to be the name, again, the name of the column. You want to create and then what it equals so we'll do the same exact but this time i won't misspell it so you'll see all it did is keep the one data frame that we were looking to uh, create and got rid of every other variable all right and that's all i have for uh, mutate and transmute